This is chemistry and biology with Mrs. Hoover. Uh, real quick, I went to Geneseo and then uh, at our end of community college through Plattsburgh for my master's. I am dual uh, certified in chemistry and biology, and I have three kids who are four, six, and seven, so I feel your pain, and I know that some are just more difficult than others. Um, this is my seventh year of teaching at Shen, and I absolutely love it. It's got the best kids and the best teachers to work with at Shen. Um, so I'm sure you want to know mostly how virtual school works. So all classes are reached through Google Meets. Uh, so I'll just show you what that looks like. You can pull up your email or your drive and you go to these dots and you can go to Meets. And then I thought you might just wanna see what your kids do. And then they go to join and they can add a nickname like Hoover Bio 2BD. And it's the same nickname every day. Um, notes are given in like PowerPoint just like this, so or like a slides, so I can show them um, pictures and fill in the blanks, whatever they need to see for notes. Um, labs, uh, we do some virtual activities where it's like a, an actual website where you click on the test tube and pour it. Um, so some are virtual labs. Um, some are group activities where they kind of work together to come up with a project. Um, they're generally done through Google Docs um, and sometimes with Google Drawing. So they would get into their labs through classroom, classwork, and you can see there's unit four and there's all their work. Uh, unit three, there's all their work. Unit two, um, once they open up that work, they might do something like this where they're like um, moving things, moving things in a Google drawing. So not necessarily like doing a lab, but at least doing something kind of interactive. Um, worksheets and practice sheets are similar interactive slides or documents. Um, group projects, they'll meet in breakout groups. So I can click in the Google Meet and it will put them into separate groups that, where they can talk to each other in a small group setting and I can pop in and hear what they're saying and talk to them as well. Um, another cool thing is that I can see their work while they're working. So I could open this up um, and I could maybe pick um, this boy Bryce and I can open up his work and I can actually see um, what he's writing and if he's answering questions. So I could say uh, Bryce, great job. Looks like you're uh, having trouble with number four. Um, can I help you with it? And I can see his cursor move to number four um, and I can help him in that way. So I am able to in real time help them. I'm also able to see if they're not doing their work. So I can say, hey, what's up? How come you're not in this document? Are you having trouble? Um, and just one big thing to emphasize is that we do all our work in class. We get every lab done and gone over and I'm here helping. Um, so I can't emphasize enough how important it is to show up to class every day consistently um, because it, uh, they should basically have no work outside of class if they come to class every day. But if they don't, then they're going to have a lot of stuff to do on their own, which could be confusing. I'm always happy to give extra help. Um, they can email me because I am, this is a virtual year. I am like right on top of the email. So I'll try to get right back to them. Um, I can answer a quick question on a homework or if it's like a big question, they want me to walk them through the lab. I can do that. We can set up a time for a Google meet. Um, they can call or text me, they have my phone number. And then on Wednesdays is a special time um, all the students have to sign in for afternoon classes. They're shortened classes in the afternoon. If they're caught up, I'll just give them an article to read and do a couple questions on and they're free to go. Um, but I'll be on there for the full, full 40 minutes for whoever wants to sign in and out and ask me questions. And then the students who are missing major work like labs and tests, I'll ask to stay on the full 40 minutes with me. And in a small group, we can get a lot of work done. I can walk them through exactly how to do the the lab or whatever it is they're missing. Um, this is the Wednesday schedule. It's in my slides if you need it. Um, the days do rotate through, like next week will be back to A day. For my biology students, they do have the same lab requirement, uh, 1,200 minutes, just like in earth science last year, although that got canceled. Um, but they have to do 1,200 minutes of labs. Labs are usually 40 minutes, so about 30 labs. We tend to do about 10 extra labs a year, so they can miss a few, um, but not too many. Um, and also, that's still hurting their grade. So it looks like I'm running out of time on my five minute video. Um, so the rest of the slides are pretty self-explanatory, just all my contact information. And please don't hesitate to email, call, text. Um, if you have any questions at all, I'm, I'm happy to talk to you. And I'm really enjoying having your kids this year. It's not as fun as previous years, but we're, we're getting things done. So that's good. Thanks, bye-bye.